Now to a remarkable story from World War II that's, that's getting some well-deserved attention now. The new book, Codename Lise, details the heroism of the war's most decorated spy. Missy see Stephanie Gosk is here with more. This is not a story, admittedly, that I had ever heard of. I hadn't heard of it either. I gotta tell you, this is a great book. And I don't have a lot of time to read books. <laughs> this is a great book. Odette Sansom was brilliant, beautiful, and fearless. Traits she used to fight against the Nazis. Few people have heard her story, but that's about to change. I headed to New York City's Spyscape Museum to sit down with the book's author and Odette's granddaughter. Odette Sansom is not well known, but she should be. The French native turned British operative was the most highly decorated World War II spy. Now her little known story is brought to vivid life in a new book. How did your grandmother have that courage? I think it was instilled in her from a very early age. Her grandfather said, you must do your duty. And that was throughout her life. At the time in Nazi-occupied France, female spies were raising less suspicion than their male counterparts. Fluent in both English and French, Sansom was exactly who the Allies needed. The SOE were really saboteurs. That was their job. They, they were to blow up the, the German bridges and, and ammo dumps and barges and all of those things. Odette was a courier, the second deadliest job for the Allies. 42% would be killed. Explain to me how dangerous it was on a day-to-day -day basis. They couldn't stay in the same place. They had multiple identities. Whenever they moved, they were shoulder to shoulder with German officers and Gestapo, right? Mm -hmm. Odette is sent to Marseille, where it's teeming with German soldiers and Gestapo. The book details the spy ring's operations in Vichy, France but also the romance that develops between Odette and her organizer, Peter Churchill. Their cover is as a couple. So they're arm in arm, and one thing leads to another, and they fall in love. And pretty soon they weren't acting like a couple. Exactly. Both the espionage and the romance had come to an end when the couple was betrayed and arrested by the Nazis. In an effort to get the names and locations of other spies, the Gestapo interrogated and tortured Odette including ripping out each of her toenails. Nicole, there are scenes in this book that I had a difficult time reading, and she was not my grandmother. Reading Larry's book, her time in the bunker was really explained. And I also felt such love for her, knowing that she got through that, knowing that we were cooking chicken soup together later on, that she was the only one condemned to death of all her comrades, and she's the only one that survived. Did she ever talk about it? All she ever talked about was the fact that her comrades didn't make it. The women that she trained with, the women that she bonded with, the women that she became really good friends with, they didn't make it back. She never gave the Germans any information. And for years, Odette endured the rest of the war in Ravensbrück, the notorious Nazi concentration camp where up to 100,000 women were killed. Near death herself when the war ended, Sansom returned home to almost immediate praise and celebrity, a movie made about her heroism. But we badly need volunteers who know and love France. As well as medals, becoming the most highly decorated allied spy, man or woman. And Odette won them all. The George Cross, Order of the British Empire, the Chevalier de, de Legion d'Honneur, which was France's highest honor. She cleans up. As her granddaughter, how proud does that make you feel? Extraordinarily proud and honored an honor to carry, I'm my, middle, my middle name is Odette, and I'm extremely honored to carry that name. She briefly married Peter, but the wartime romance wouldn't last, nor would the celebrity. Now, her story is being revived as an inspiration, not just for Odette's family, but for all of us. Did you ever think to yourself, oh my God, if I was in that situation, I don't know, I, would I have done it myself? She was so brave, and it just really showed how horrific humanity can be. And I think it really just shows that with whatever situation, if you just put your heart into it, you can find strength. Oh, it's man. incredible, this, this story that none of us yeah. knew. And, I know. Had... and I'll tell you, while you read it, you try to put yourself in that place and you think, God, mm. 
the people that did that, mm. the honor and duty that they felt to go and put their lives at risk. She left three daughters behind in England when she went mm. and worked as a spy mm. in Nazi-controlled France. Steph, it's crazy. Thank you. It's like Savannah said, I hope someone's bought the movie rights. Again, the, code, the book is Codename Lise. You can find out more about it today.com slash shop.